Mitch Trubisky under center for the first time. McFarland is in the backfield. He'll get a good look. So will Jalen Warren. First pass is completed to George Pickens. And he has close to first down yardage right there. And that's been a combination we've seen a lot. In second and one after that gain of nine. First possession of the day. Trubisky's going to fire down the field. Intended for Kevin Rader. A little too high. It falls incomplete. He's had a pretty good camp as well. They're going to go to Anthony McFarland. He goes to the outside looking for a block. And he gets one down there by Pickens. McFarland tight ropes his way down to a healthy gain before he's knocked out of bounds. And Boy, nice little block there by Pickens. Josh Jones was back there to make the play. He commits that Anthony penalty. McFarlane right here. You can see big Dan Moore, number 65, sealing off the outside. You can see Anthony McFarlane. He can make a guy miss. And one thing that people don't know about him is that speed because they haven't seen much of him mm. last year. But this guy is a fly. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense. Number 57. That 15-yard penalty will be added to the results of the play. Automatic first down. Third round pick in 2019. That flag was after the play and it's additional yardage. Steelers now operating in Seattle territory. Again, it's McFarland. We expect him a good look tonight. Najee Harris, of course, not playing in this game. Many of the skill position regulars for the Steelers will be likely back in action a little bit next week. Puna Ford was there, number 97 for Seattle. Mason Cole, 61. James Daniel, 78. He's... Those are the two guys who came in this offseason. Steelers trying to improve. It's Trubisky going downfield looking for Pickens. A lot of contact there. Again, it's Tariq Woolen in coverage. Big advantage, and they're going to try to take advantage of that as much as they can. Pressure's on. There's Gunnar Osheski. He's also brought in as a kickoff return specialist, but we've seen this in training camp. He could be effective in the pass game. Nice slant route coming from your right to left here. Mitch stands in there, delivers the football. I love the way he accelerates. Pivots out of the cut. Huge game. You can see him. He's not looking to run out of bounds. He's trying to run somebody over and make a play. He's trying to prove to Coach Tomlin that, hey, if you need me, I'll deliver. Justin Cole. So it's first and ten now for the Steelers as they go deep in Seattle territory. Trubisky again, this time more time. Rolling to his left. He can do that. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown. The gunner is in. Gunnar Osheski with a touchdown. He's been impressive in camp. He continues tonight, and Mitch Trubisky takes him right down the field. He realized he's uncovered. He's saying, look, Mitch, throw me the football. And that was nice by Mitch being patient, rolling out to his left, finding the open receiver, putting the Steelers into the end zone for six. How about Gunnar Osheski? Went to New England, undrafted, turned it into a first tee. This is going to be a fair catch called for, but wise play there by Steven Sims. Let's it bounce into the end zone. Part of the fraternity, they're out in full force. Steelers, after their first drive results in a touchdown, bring back Trubisky again. In the pocket, fires. It's a beautiful pass right there for Connor Hayward. Beautiful throw by Trubisky also. Had to be in a very small window. Got it done. Now a flip to McFarland. Following Dan Moore. Gets a second chance. Extra yards before he is down on that play by Puna Ford, who lands on top of him. But a nice gain by Anthony McFarland. Once again, inside. And another healthy game for McFarlane there. Anthony McFarlane. In that opportunity that is behind Najee Harris. Benny Snell is the guy who gets a lot of work. You saw Najee Harris on the sidelines. A very busy man last year. Warren gets away. And so does Trubisky. Away from the pressure. Running and getting some yardage. When it looked like there was going to be a loss on the play, he shed them. Best linebackers. Third and four, big play. He steps up, fires, this time with a little bit of pressure. Just out of the reach of Gunnar Olszewski, and it falls incomplete. He'll set up a fourth down. He's the guy who's been around out of Georgia.